We evacuated all of the UN out of Yemen. I made a very conscious decision it was just too dangerous to stay there. Um, bombs are dropping, there's a, you know, Al Qaeda um, terrorism presence there and, and a whole range of other conflict going on. Our philosophy is to stay and deliver in a humanitarian sense. So, so we had to balance the, the, what the, the needs of what the stakeholders were um, with what the safety and security issues were. Um, now, we had to do some soul searching over that because the two were actually incompatible. Um, and, and as a consequence, I sat down with the, the key um, executive heads of those other agencies and, and we revisited the decision. Um, we revis revisited and, and I actually said, okay, well, in this circumstance, um, if you're prepared to accept some greater responsibility, I'm prepared to create some more space for you. We put some people back in. Um, and as that's grown, we've increased those numbers there quite considerably. Um, but again, it, it, that didn't come about um, just by saying it's too dangerous to be there. That come about by weighing up what's, what's, what's the drivers for being there. So, so what's the enormous humanitarian crisis which is occurring um, and how much tolerance for risk do we need to absorb to be able to service that? I think it's incumbent on the, the international deployment to try to do a better job of, of understanding what it is that the local, local leadership needs. Frequently, one of the things we forget is that we spend a lot of our effort and energy in self-sustainment. So we deploy somewhere and the first thing we do is we build our own camp and we make sure that we have the assets and the resources that we need. Um, we get everything sort of up and running. And from a local community perspective, while they're re quite frequently happy to see us deploy there, in addition, there is <clears throat> a frustration where there's clearly a tremendous amount of money being spent because they see all these, this infrastructure getting built. And yet, their street is still messed up and their well still is poisoned and there's no roof on the school and things like that. And so from their perspective, quite frequently there, there is resentment that there, there is money being spent on a problem, but the money is being spent on those that are sent to fix the problem rather than on the problem. Um, so from my perspective, what's, what's important in this regard is listening to the local population. And that means a broad spectrum of the local population. It doesn't just mean the leadership or the political leadership, but those that have, those that have skin in the game, those that are relevant to the particular problem, whether it's civil society or any other aspect of societal grouping or religious leaders or what have you, and understanding what's important to them.